Hello, I'm Nisha Mothra and welcome to Keys to Kismet. Today's episode is dedicated to kids and the mission to improve their lives and sow the seeds for a brighter future. The key, education. In fact, education is truly a key to Kismet. The nonprofit organization Viva's vision is to ensure that every underprivileged child attains his or her right to education, health, and opportunity. Viva's projects have changed the face of the public education system. Let's take kids who often come from very difficult circumstances and living conditions to a world where anything is possible through the magic of education. <laughs> एक ऐसे गगन के तले जहां गम भी ना हो आंसू भी ना हो बस प्यार ही प्यार पले आज के तुझे मैं लेके चलूं एक ऐसे गगन के तले जहां गम भी ना हो आंसू भी ना हो बस प्यार Education is the first ray of sun that signals the dawn of hope. Through friendships, belief, and the power of knowledge, Viba is bringing light to these beautiful lives. kids can now dream of their futures, the darkness chased away. This song is so true, and seeing the excited expressions on the kids' faces is heartwarming. They are dreaming, and now Vipa is making their dreams come true. Vipa in Sanskrit means ray of light. We want to be the ray of hope for children in need. Since 1991, Vipa has supported 250 plus projects. Our goal is to build replicable and scalable projects that work towards enabling education for children. We are very proud of our Marquee project, a very scalable and replicable project called Sikshana. It has been a great journey working with them since the last 10 years. Vibha's official vision has been to ensure that every child gets his right to education, health, and opportunity. Vibha's unofficial vision is to not exist at all. It might sound to be a shocker, but what it means is our goal is to exit. Exit when the job is done. 10 years ago, if you were to walk into this classroom, you would have probably found a handful of kids. Today, it's packed with kids excited to engage and learn. And if you were to ask me what brought about this change, I would say motivation. Our focus has always been the government schools in the rural areas. That's primarily because of the fact that rural India is where the real India is. Currently, the Prerna model is implemented across, across 50,000 schools, impacting about 3 million children. At the end of the day, when I saw children playing the game that I used to play in my childhood, uh, that is when I realized that this is what is needed, you know, we are restoring their childhood. So that is, the, that is my very first memory of making a difference. That's it, we exist for the children. The focus of Viba's project Sikshana is on rural kids. Often these kids are not encouraged by their families or motivated to come to school. 
they end up wandering around while their parents are working or actually work themselves. Vibha's project Sikshana has a motivational model called Prerna, focused on inspiration that comes from within. So kids are excited about coming to school, interested in acquiring new skills, and eager to explore new topics. They develop a genuine interest and ambition. See, as the name suggests, Prerna means motivation. So Prerna has become our flagship model. And uh, it involves the entire school ecosystem. Right? And it is intended towards taking the stakeholders in the school ecosystem on a journey from extrinsic motivation to intrinsic motivation with special focus on the children as they are the primary stakeholders. Vibha's project Sikshana, which started in 2006, has enabled education for 2.3 million children. Their goal? No child should be left behind. National Animal of India Tiger National Flower of India Lotus Independence Day of India 15 August Capital of Uttar Pradesh Lucknow Capital of Madhya Pradesh Bhopal What are you doing outside of class? Come inside Viva, educating and empowering children in need since 1991. So why did Vijay, co-founder of Viva, decide to collaborate with Sikshana? An education initiative that relied on motivation, something unconventional and to some extent risky. It is uh, very interesting. Uh, uh, Mr. Ramamurthy is the one who founded Sikshana. Uh, he retired at uh, high levels both in government and in private sector. He was uh, already intervening in public schools, started with three schools and by 2005 he was intervening in 15 schools to raise the education standards, to, to, to raise the performance level of the schools, of the public schools. And then he was visiting his daughter in Atlanta and uh, somebody put us together and we had a good meeting. And in the very first meeting, whenever he told me about what he is doing, it really resonated with me because I myself came uh, from that background. You know, I, I went to Jilla Parishad High School, still my 10th uh, grade. Uh, and so I, when we went to schools in the 70s, they were all great places of learning and there was a lot of activity, there was a lot of pride, there was a lot of uh, excitement within the school. Uh, whereas now, for various reasons, it went into a downward spiral and what Mr. Ramurthy and what Sikshana was doing was to reverse that spiral, to bring back the excitement into the schools. Uh, so it immediately resonated with me and with a lot of us in Vibha. Uh, and uh, we said, yeah, this is, this is, this is, a, this is a definitely a project worth supporting. And uh, within one year, we knew that this is a scalable and replicable project. And that is how the journey started. It's simply heartwarming to see the kids, often taken out of extremely difficult circumstances, now motivated to learn as they create the foundation of their future. After the break, we take you inside the classroom to talk to some of the kids and staff about their mission. We're back in the middle of all the action as we take you inside Vibha's Project Sikshana, inside the classroom to hear from the kids and the staff about this breakthrough initiative that continues to change the lives of children through the power of education. ये जो शिक्षणा फाउंडेशन का प्रोग्राम हमारे स्कूल में दो साल से चल रहा है, ये बहुत ही अच्छा प्रोग्राम है। इस प्रोग्राम से हमारे क्लास जो चौथी तो चौथी से सातवीं क्लास तक ये जो प्रोग्राम चल रहे, इसमें बच्चे बच्चों का 
बहुत डेवलपमेंट नजर आ रहा है Vibha's project Sikshana focuses on motivating students using four steps: rewards and incentives, safe to fail, structured learning, and deliberate practice. Sikshana stars are part of the rewards and incentive program as kids are given stars for positive behavior like coming to school regularly, participating in curricular and co-curricular activities, and more. And then to do that, we realized that motivation was a key element and it was not just with the children but the entire ecosystem the teachers the the community around the school uh, so this current model that we have come up with uh, is purely focusing on motivation as a key the uh, role that vibha plays particularly for people who go out to the field is uh, providing support to our partners in terms of advice counseling capacity building training and uh, being available basically central to vibha's work or whatever we do our children obviously vibha in itself means a ray of hope i guess we don't want the child to be afraid of their teachers so we made sure that we get in a concept of an environment wherein the child feels safe to fail so that is where the concept of helping each other and helping the peers to overcome that fear came into existence Besides the stars and peer-to-peer -peer hand holding, there's a third aspect to this program that is equally important. Now that the child has got the resources for practicing, we wanted them to get an understanding of what is their level. So we came up with the concept of visual and tangible progress reports. So each child would be earning stickers based on the competencies that they have learned. So this would enable them and their parents who are mostly uh, illiterate or even they can understand as to how the child is actually progressing over a period of time so iska fayda ye hua ki ek students drop out hote hote hum logo ne unko school mein continue kiya aur drop drop out hone se bacha hai to iska isse hame bhi anand milta hai ki ek students ko humne drop out hone se bacha hai aur unko school continue kiya ye abhi os wo student छठी स्कूल से लेकर अभी एट स्कूल तक स्कूल में जा रही है मोटिवेटिंग किड्स टू कम टू स्कूल इज वन थिंग बट मोटिवेटिंग देम टू स्टे इन स्कूल इज अज अकाम्पलिशमेंट हेर्स अनदर इंस्पायरिंग स्टोरी ऑफ अ गर्ल हेल्प बाई विभाज शिक्षण प्रोजेक्ट जब शिक्षण फाउंडेशन यह संस्था हमारे स्कूल में नहीं आई थी तो मुझे लगता था कि स्कूल आके मैं क्या करूँ मुझे कस आम्मी कस तो वेगारे काम करते ना फिर मुझे लगा मुझे क्यों नहीं मिला तो मैं बहुत दुखी हुई फिर मैंने मैडम से पूछा मैडम मुझे हर स्टार क्यों नहीं मिला तो उन्होंने कहा क्योंकि तुम हर रोज स्कूल में नहीं आती और वो हर रोज स्कूल में आते हैं इसलिए मैंने मन से ठान लिया कि अब मैं भी हर रोज स्कूल आऊँगी तो मैं हर रोज स्कूल आने लगी इसलिए मुझे हरा सर मिला तो मुझे बहुत खुशी हुई आता कैसे कहा जाती थी हाँ आता कहीं चैनल से कहीं तो खूब आवड़ आता एक दिवस पंखे छुट्टी वगैरह करना आज आज आप लतर पंखे छुट्टी कर रहती हूँ at vibha we strive towards creating a 10x impact in the last 30 years our donors have generously contributed about 20 million dollars to educate 2.3 million children my daughter in us goes to public school however my friends in india seem to be comfortable sending their kids to private school vibha intends to be that catalyst to make public schools competitive like the iits and iims as vibha continues to support replicable and scalable projects like sikshana we also continue to invest in other interesting projects next stop street children rehabilitation project in mumbai india When we return we take you to Mumbai India as we spotlight another one of Vibha's fabulous initiatives to support street children. 
Children who live on the streets have the odds stacked against them. But despite the appalling conditions they face, many express to me a real desire for an education and for a home and family of their own. We'll meet some of these amazing kids after the break. We're here in Mumbai, India at the Durga Devi Municipal School, an amazing initiative started by the organization Viva to support street children. Look at these children. They face unforgiving circumstances from lack of nutrition to lack of education, but they have a ray of hope in their eyes. And today we are going to meet some of these kids as they talk about the hope that they have for a brighter future. Akram is nine years old and lives with his family behind a bus stop in Mumbai. It's an open space on a small footpath. They've been living there for the last six years. His father is a worker at a coconut vendor shop and his mother works as a domestic worker. They are encouraged to beg, do odd jobs for very small amounts. They don't have any access to water or a proper roof. They literally sleep on the footpath in all seasons. Akram wants to be a policeman when he grows up so he can get a better home and a better life for himself. What are some of the things that you do to help these children? So we broadly focus on three areas. Uh, one is the health and nutrition. So these children stay on the streets. So they have no access to bathing facilities or washing or brushing their teeth. All these concepts itself are alien concepts for them. So we bought a nutritionist in who advised us on their diet. So the kid who would have, even at the age of two years, Pepsi every day, is now being given milk every day here. So we had to convert. They come here, they bathe here, they brush. And now we do that all with a reward system to ensure that they get into that system. Uh, apart from that, we also focus on their mental and emotional well-being. Since back, we got a psychologist. She's also an art-based therapist. She does, uh, in fun way, she does counseling of these kids. Prem is just nine years old and lives inside the passenger hall of Mumbai Central Railway Station. His mother stays alone and suffers from hearing and speech problems. Hence, she earns her money by begging outside mosques and encourages her children to do the same. Despite lack of parental support, Prem has been attending the shelter for three years. Shabana is eight years old and lives in a 10 foot by 10 foot home. Her father has passed away and she stays with her mother and her younger sister. Her elder brother lives in their village with relatives. Her mother is a domestic worker. Okay, you tell us how Viva was started and why it was started. Sure, so we started in 1991 and uh, our goal was uh, to make sure that uh, these kids here get their right, which is actually their birthright to education. And uh, as you may know, things are not how they should be in India. And uh, so we took ourselves to empower any individual or organizations who wanted to make a difference in the lives of these kids. Basically, we are a 100% volunteer-driven organization in US, and because of which, we are able to send about 85 cents to a dollar directly for these projects, keeping our costs low. And uh, the good part is, all the volunteers uh, come from, are our professionals from different walks of life, like, you know, we have scientists, engineers, accountants, and so on. So, you know, we bring in a very unique problem-solving ability. And these are people from our community who just want to make a difference. Absolutely. Now we meet Thanisha, who will not let her circumstances stop her from going to school. Thanisha is just seven years old and lives outside a Bata showroom in Mumbai. Thanisha's family keeps on migrating from place to place in Mumbai, as they're often harassed by local thugs. Despite this, Thanisha's mother has tried her best to enroll her to school for however short duration it may be.
मिले अगर वो सहमी सी हया की तरह मिले अगर वो सहमी सी हया की तरह Street children face many problems. They starve, they lack shelter, they don't have access to schooling. But thanks to organizations like Viva, these kids have hope. I have been so moved by their stories today, their innocence, and their desire to change the path of their future. I'm Nisha Mathur signing off from Mumbai, India, and reminding you that it's time to grab your keys to Kismet and seize your destiny.